study of transverse section of dicot stem sunflower stem a transverse section shows following tissue arrangement from exterior to the interior epidermis the outer most layer is called epidermis it is made of a single layer barrel shaped parenchymatous cells some of the cells bear multicellular stem hairs epidermis contains cuticle beneath the epidermis there is hypodermis it consists of few layers of colenchymatous cells hypodermis contains no intercellular spaces next to the hypodermis there is cortex or ground cortex it is multi layered made of parenchymatous cells with intercellular spaces this layer sometimes contains resin duct endodermis is the outermost layer of cortex it is single layer it consists of a single layer barrel shaped parenchymatous cells this layer or endodermis contains starch grains hence endodermis is called starch sheet the central portion of the tissue of the stem surrounded by endodermis is called stele it consists of pericycle vascular bundle and pith pericycle it occurs in between vascular bundle and endodermis it is multi layered parenchymatous with alternating patches of sclerenchyma these patches are called bundle cap vascular bundles are conjoint collateral end arc and open they are arranged in the form of a ring around the pith what is conjoint vascular bundle when xylem and phloem of a vascular bundle lie on the same radius then it is called conjoint type of vascular bundle what is collateral vascular bundle in case of collateral type of conjoint vascular bundle xylem is arranged towards interior while phloem is present outside the xylem on the same radius vascular bundle is open that is cambium is present in between xylem and phloem vascular bundle is end arc that is protoxylem occurs towards the center of the pith and metaxylem occurs towards the periphery the large central portion is called pith it consists of parenchymatous cells with intercellular spaces it helps in the storage of food materials 
the strips of parenchymata cells which are found between vascular bundles are called medullary rays. TS of a portion of dicot stem, sunflower stem under low power of the microscope. Stem hair and epidermis is clearly visible here. Look at the slide. Hypodermis, endodermis, cortex. These regions are clearly visible. Cortex and endodermis. Now see phloem tissue. Phloem tissue clearly visible. Now cambium. Xylem clearly visible. Xylem tissue. Xylem medullary rays are seen. Medullary rays and pith. Pith region clearly visible. This is pith identifying features. Epidermis is cuticularized and presence of multicellular stem hair. Vascular bundle is conjoint, collateral, open and endar. Presence of medullary ray and presence of large central peak. Now, Take your practical notebook with you and draw a level sketch of a portion of TS of sunflower stem and then write salient features of dicot stem. Specimen question for this experiment. Cut a thin transverse section of the plant part marked A and prepare a temporary slide. With the help of a microscope, observe the TS and draw a level sketch of a part of it. <laughs> 